I, this is the neighbor's game. This is the sandlot. Like, this is the soccer field. But in this game, you can get the spray paint. And you actually buy these items. Like, the stuff that I give away free in my game. Even though they're temporary. And you have to re-get them when you go back in the game. But this spray paint is so cool. This guy's really good. I don't know what device he's painting with. But he's just using spray paint tool in this in this game. Look, he's doing so good. So I'm planning to add spray paint to my game. That is something that I've been working on. And so I just have to get the right script. <laughs> Anyways, so... So I think he's done with that one. But then you have people who are creepy. And look what they did. They're trying to like raw over his stuff. It's still showing out pretty good. I mean, but they probably made him mad and he left because he was over here drawing too. But that's just mean. I mean, technically, his stuff still looks really good even though they're trying to scratch over it. But anyways, that's a neighbor's game for you. You have trolls and, you know. If you have the spray can tool, I mean, it's just kind of expected that um, people do stuff like that. But, you know... This is a this is a game where there's a lot of people. My game would definitely have moderators. Like anybody that acts like that and they're trying to like trash somebody's artwork, they would definitely be kicked. But this game doesn't really have moderators. I mean, they could complain. But anyways. So I had to mute everybody because of somebody's playing music. I could go in there individually and find out who was playing the music. But, eh, I'll just mute everybody. Um, because if I'm doing a video, you can obviously you can't have radio music playing in the background. You can get copyright strike. In fact, I'm not even sure if I can do this video now. I may have to, um, I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> but I just think it's really cool. Look at this. Look at this character. Oh my goodness. Well, the good thing is when that person who did what they did leaves then their chicken scratches leave with them so now it's back to just the artwork i don't know what what device i'd like to know what device this person's using because i have a spray can i i use a mouse and i can barely even write words with it this is so good and another thing that i want to add in my game is this growth potion tool <laughs> you can make your avatar really big or really little so oh, i'm gonna shrink myself down now I'm tiny so see this obby over here this is an obby that is that line down here that's the edge of the game so if you fall you, you get respawned but in this game this is called neighbors there's no prize there's no prize it's just Basically, you get the reward of getting to the top. My hobby, on the other hand, has prizes on it that you get as you go up. <laughs> it's a spiral disappearing stairs type of hobby. So this guy over here, he's got the UFO skin for his jetpack, which I love that. I love that skin. I, like it, I would I love to have like that. Teenage, Where'd he go? See? You look like you're flying saucer. That is so cool. I have the a, I have the wings and I have the flying a couple flying carpets. I have like a the cloud hoverboard thing. So when you get the jet pack, which is like twenty dollars if you buy it with Robux, or it's 1850 credits, which you have to earn in the game. But then this UFO thing, that is so cool. I would love to have that. I don't know if you had to buy that in a pack or that might have been a Christmas bundle. Oh no, that's an item you had. See, you when you get the jetpack, you you buy you spend two hundred credits that you get in the game, and you roll. Basically, it's you have to get that by chance, which is zero point four percent, like not even a half a percent chance of getting that UFO. So he's pretty lucky he's got that. So you don't see too many of those. I would love to have that. He's reading my sign. I have a sign advertising my game. So this game has a lot of servers. All of each one of these servers has 50 people, 50 players. And they're from around the world. So that's just to give you an idea of how 
popular virtual hangouts on Roblox is. Some of the servers have more than others in them. But look, I'm scrolling down. That's each one of these yellow lines is 50 people per server. This is the different world. Not that many people play because you're not allowed to use tools in it. And then you have the apartment building, and that has two servers in it. And then this is the sandbox, and it has three servers in it. So this is the most popular one. But I don't like this part of the game because people just skip you. They attack you with their toxic tools, and you don't have the ability to use a shield from it. But the apartment in the sandbox, you can. Oh, and the other... The other one. So three of the worlds of this game, you can shield yourself from toxic tools. But this part of the game, you cannot. But you can choose servers from around the world. 